Yo ballers, this is Kicks Contest, my name is Lyoha Matras Fly White. Well, we've been admiring these shoes since the first official images came out and now that we've got them in hand, it's time to see what these nice looking shoes can do on a basketball court. So it's time to test Anta KT7. Let's go! Anta KT7 will be a good fit for the players with wide feet and high arch. But that's it, that's the thing. If you are have a regular or a narrow feet, they won't fit well. These motherfuckers are wide and roomy as hell in places like here in the toe box where you can't really adjust it. So you must definitely try them on before you buy. Inside these are pretty comfortable, there is enough padding, the laces do not strangle the foot, there are supporting pods in the heel area here, the liner is made of the soft material like the cat tongue to prevent the heel from sliding up and down. We'll talk about the lockdown later. Despite all the comfort, the overall construction is kind of restrictive and the upper is not as flexible as it should be. Again, these are pretty wide and low to the ground, but they're also flat, so they slap the hardwood when you run, like this. Last time I had this issue with the answer fours, which are 20 year old retros, man. Even when I was jumping over the hurdles, my guys told me it looked like I had weights on my feet. But it's not about the weight here. In a word, you need time to get used to these shoes and to adjust your playstyle accordingly. Traditionally for KT line, breathability is not included. There are of course these ventilation holes here, but... But the airflow is kind of blocked from the inside by the inner booty layer. The last time I had this issue was with the LeBron 18s with their plasticky tongue that didn't let the air through at all. Anta KT7 uses the Nitro Speed Foam Compound for cushioning. It reminds me of something, but I can't quite remember what exactly. But back to the point. The Nitro Speed layer is freaking thick. Not like this though, but it's pretty thick. Plus, there is a 5mm insole made of the same material, which is cool. What can I say about the compound itself, comparing to Adidas Boost, for example? Well, it's way more dense and bouncy, and impact protection will be there even if you're Escalade with T-Dub's jump. Because of the fat midsole the court feel is lacking, at this point it's obvious that the KT7 are more suited for big man. The traction pattern looks like it was generated by artificial intelligence. It's nice looking but kinda large. The rubber itself is grippy, squeaky and grips well when stopping on a dime. But once they pick up dust, which happens more often than not, they will start slipping pretty bad. There was a couple of times when I felt like I was on skates, like here. But overall, the traction is pretty decent. I gotta say that the main focus in the KT7 is the materials. The upper is made of this fancy knit material and then there's also this interesting patterned fuse going around the bottom of the shoe and then from the toe all the way to the back of the shoe. Then there's also this lateral plastic plate on the outsole which shimmers nicely under the light and also there's carbon torsion plates for stability here. Nice. Many interesting details let you know that this is an NBA superstar signature shoe and is finally back in the game. I think if this was a Nike shoe with the same amount of technologies, materials and uh, an NBA superstar name, it would cost like way over 200 bucks easy. The assembly quality is good, no f ups here and it seems like they should be pretty durable. The maximum stress areas are properly reinforced, the lace loops are reinforced as well with a sturdy material, the outsole is made of hard rubber and looks like it's a capable option for outdoors. I'd love to give the KT7 a perfect 100 for the materials, but man they're heavy. Each shoe weighs 552 grams or 19.5 ounces for size 12, which is way too much. At first it seems like there's a perfect safety setup in the KT7. The outsole is really wide with two outriggers in the front and the back. Just look at this situation right here. If I had some other shoes on, I could have easily injured my ankle, but with the Anta KT7 I didn't even feel anything. This plastic heel cup keeps the heel in place and then there's distortion plate for stability. The midsole overlays the upper for lateral containment and it all looks like it's all set, but my issue with this 
is the fit. Even for our guy Mr. Cake, who has a wider foot, there was still some room. But don't get us wrong, we went through the size, so the lengthwise it was all fine. So because of this issue the lockdown is not great. The foot slides inside the shoe during lateral movements and stops like here. So look, look here, even if I tie the laces as tight as I can, there's still this dead space in the toe box and the foot is sliding up and down and side to side, regardless of how tight you tie the laces. So the only solution to this could be wearing three pairs of socks or maybe putting one more insole, but in this case just forget about court feel. You won't be able to properly jump off two feet in the KT7 because you lose all the momentum because of this lacking lockdown. So the jump will not be as high as it should be. When I tried a 360, my feet were rotating first and then the shoes. This is an issue and it does affect the game, not in a good way, not even with two pairs of socks on. So either you put an extra insole which affects court feel or you're a lucky guy with a huge wide foot. If that's the case, then congrats. These super sneakers were made specially for you, man. I think it's obvious what kind of player you should be to enjoy the Anta KT7. These sneakers are mainly for big guys who like stability and good cushioning and don't like being too shifty with the ball every other possession. This was Kicks Contest, my name is Lyoha Matras Fly White. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get notified when the new video comes up, and also subscribe to our Instagram where we put on teasers and sneaker and basketball news. My name is Lyoha Matras Fly White. This was Kicks Contest. Peace everyone, see you in the next video. Kursti Subchik. Bam!